So guys, in this uh, great design tutorial, we're gonna create a three icons, coke icon, uh, uh, comment box icon, and uh, heart icon. And I'm gonna start with a new document, Alt, N, op Option, N. On your mark, I'm gonna size it with 1920 by 1080, click Create. And first of all, Ctrl, Alt, R, or Command, Option, R, to show the rulers. And grab this ruler and put it in the middle or around the middle. Then grab this horizontal ruler and put it also in the middle. Really nice. Uh, now let's start with the cock icon. Grab your ellipse tool, or click A, hold Alt and Shift in the middle and create this large ellipse. Uh, give it a black fill color. Then grab your point tool, Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift D to make it duplicate, scale it a bit. Now keep selected them both and navigate to this command subtract to make this ring shape. Now grab your rectangle tool, create rectangle like so. As you can see, the height of this rectangle is uh, half of the width. Now, in order to uh, round the corners of only on top, we need to convert it to the path. So, convert to path or use this shortcut Ctrl Shift P. Select these two uh, dots on the bottom. As you can see, they fill it as a hollow. Navigate to corner and I'm gonna rotate it to around 32 degrees. Really nice. Now grab your point, uh, grab your ellipse tool, or click A, and create an ellipse. I'm gonna fill it with uh, black. Grab your point tool, arrange it on the edge of your, arrange it on the edge of your rectangle. Now holding Alt key, create another ellipse. Uh, uh, place it like so. Ctrl G, Command G. Keep this tool selected and Ctrl G Command G to make uh, to group them both. Then select your rectangle, select this two and align them into the middle. And now keep them both selected. Navigate to your uh, some kind of pathfinder and uh, go to the subtract command. Very nice. We achieve this. Uh, shape i'm gonna place it right on top of my ring shape then ctrl shift d command shift d to make it duplicate flip this duplicate vertical and navigate to the bottom really nice now select both of them ctrl g command g to make a group and navigate to your transform click on this button transform on the right panel Set the number of copies to 3 here on this field and set the, num uh, the rotate angle to 120 degrees and apply. It will give us this shape, it's our cock shape. And now keep selected all of your design elements, Ctrl G to make a group. I'm gonna scale it a bit down and place it on the bottom or on the top left of my document. So now uh, grab our rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Give it a black fill. Align it horizontally to the center. Really nice. Uh, again, convert this to the path. Ctrl Shift P. Grab your sub select tool or click D. Select these two top paths and push the corner to the max. As you can see, it doesn't allow me to create a really uh, smooth corners, so I'm gonna push it with my arrow key. And uh, I'm gonna push it until these two, these two top points are match with each other. So in my case, it's around 120 pixels. Grab your point tool. 
and navigate to this handle on the top, hold shift key and rotate it in 45 degrees. Really nice. Now control shift D or command shift D. To make a duplicate, I'm gonna flip it horizontally. Really nice. Now we need to match this two and create a heart shape. As you can see, we have this uh, awkward extensions. So I need to delete my duplicate and make uh, narrow my shape a bit. Then again, Ctrl Shift D, flip it and match it in the middle. And now, as you can see, all working is a shell, and we can match all these two shapes and push my uh, push our heart shape. So the last shape that we need to create is uh, our dialog box. So start with the rectangle tool or click R. Create rectangle, give it a black fill, then navigate to your sub select or click T, uh, round the corner using this handle. Now grab your ellipse tool, click E, holding Alt and Shift create an ellipse, give it a black fill, then holding Alt key create a copy, moving it to the top right from this original. Now select them both. Notice we need to create this, uh, we need to achieve this uh, lunar shape. In order to do this, navigate to your pathfinder and cl click on this subtract command. Now grab this lunar shape, match it with your rectangle, rotate it using this handle and I'm gonna hide it a bit more. Select them both, Ctrl G, Command G to make a group. And this is how, my friends, we can create these three icons in Gravity Designer. I want to thank you for following to the end. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumb up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.